Hi guys, let's look at the next question. Let f be from r to r and it's a function which is given by fx equals to x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6. Then f is 1 to 1 and on to f is many 1 and into f is 1 1 and into f is many 1 and on to. So which would be the correct option? What we need to recall here is what do we mean by 1 to 1? What do we mean by many to 1? What do we mean by an on to function? And what we mean by an into function? So a 1 to 1 function, as the name suggests, distinct inputs, they give you distinct images. So no two inputs can go to just one single output. So in terms of the definition, it basically means that x1 is not equal to x2 should imply f of x1 is not equal to f of x2. That is different inputs is, are giving you different outputs. Many to one. Many to one means, as the name suggests, two inputs at the least are going to one output many inputs go to one single output it could be more than uh, you know uh, two also so many inputs are going to just one output that that is what is many to one on to now on to means that your co-domain and range are same that is you don't have any idle element in your co-domain if your function is a to B, then B is not just your codomain, but it is also the range. So you don't have any idle elements in B. Into. An into function is generally defined as a function where it is at least one entry left in the codomain, which doesn't have a pre-image. At least yeah. one element, element in the codomain does not have a pre-image. Have a pre-image. Okay. So, in our function, your fx, it's given to us as x cube minus 6x square, x cube minus 6x square, plus 11x minus 6. That's 11x minus 6. Well, it's a cubic. So either what you can do is you can just start factorizing it either directly or you can try dividing it by, uh, you know, you it, it's, a, it's always a hit and trial uh, when it comes to cubic. So with hit and trial, you can do that. If you carefully take that exercise, you will realize that this cubic is same as x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. Which means that if you put fx equals to 0, you would realize that x is taking three values, 1, 2, and 3. Which essentially means that f of 1 is 0, f of 2 is also 0, and f of 3 is also 0. What does it tell you about the nature of the function? It clearly tells you that there are three inputs which are giving you just the same output. So it's clearly a many to one function. Now the question arises, is it... Now the question arises, is this an on to function? We have realized that it's not a one-to-one -one function. It's a many-to-one function. Is it an on-to function? Well, for on-to, I need to know what the range for this function is. Range means that what output is getting generated. We must analyze this function to a certain extent in order to be able to comment on that. To analyze this function, I would try to figure out what is f dash x. That should be my first step. And that will give me 3x square minus 12x plus 11. 
right? If I put it equal to zero, let's see what we get. Well, if we put f dash x equals to zero, what we will be getting, if we put f dash x equals to zero, what we will be getting is 3x squared minus 12x plus 11 equals to zero. And uh, try to find out the roots. When you try to find out the roots, you will get that the roots are uh, 2 plus minus 1 upon root 3. This is the working that you will find out. Uh, and uh, this means I have, uh, these are the two values where f dash x is actually equal to 0. If you find this cumbersome, the easier way to analyze this might be just by looking at the expression of fx. So your fx is equal to x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. So perhaps we can analyze this function in the following manner. If you take x which is lesser than 1, if you take x which is lesser than 1, what's going to happen to this product? This expression will be negative. This expression will be negative. This expression will be negative. So that means your fx will be lesser than 0. Right? Now, if you take x greater than 3, if you take x greater than 3, your first expression will be positive. The second expression will be positive. And the third expression will also be positive. That means fx throughout will be greater than 0. So what actually is happening here? Now, since your domain is the entire R, so you can take all real numbers as input. All real numbers can be taken at, as inputs. And we can just see that we are able to generate all numbers which are less than 0, all numbers which are greater than 0 as well, without any restriction coming in. There is no restriction that comes in. Because my input is entire R, and I've just realized that fx could be negative, uh, you know, it can take all negative numbers also and all positive numbers also. That means my range is also entire R. If my range is entire R, that means I have no restriction left here and therefore codomain is also same as the range and hence the function is onto. Hence the function is onto. So onto, yes, it is onto. So which would be the correct option that means? This function is not one one. It is turning out to be many to one. So it's a many to one and on to function. So D is the correct option. It's a many one and on to. Thank you.